she learns. Do you know she began talking when she was six months old? She could say water, but not really. War, war. War, war. But she meant water. She knew what it meant, and only six months older, I never saw a child so bright or outgoing. Reach. I wanted to teach you. Oh. Everything the earth is full of, Helen. Everything on it, it's ours for a wink and it's gone. And what we are on it. The light we bring to it and leave behind in words. But you can see 5,000 years back in the light of words. Everything we feel. Think. Know and share in words. So not a soul is in darkness, or done with even in the grave. But I know. I know one word, and I can put the world in your hand. And whatever it is to me, I won't take less. How, How do I tell you that? This means a word, and the word means this thing, woe, or this. This means, means this thing. Oh, dress, F-A-C-E, face. Man's mind is his basic tool of survival. Life is given to him, survival is not. His body is given to him, its sustenance is not. His mind is given to him, its content is not. Reason does not work automatically. Thinking is not a mechanical process. The connections of logic are not made by instinct. The function of your stomach, lungs, or heart is automatic. The function of your mind is not. In any hour and issue of your life, you are free to think or to evade that effort. But you are not free to escape from your nature, from the fact that reason is your means of survival. So that for you, who are a human being, the question to be or not to be is the question to think or not to think. Man cannot survive except by gaining knowledge, and reason is his only means to gain it. Reason is the faculty that perceives, identifies, and integrates the material provided by his senses. His senses tell him only that something is, but what it is must be learned by his mind. All thinking is a process of identification and integration. Man perceives a blob of color. By integrating the evidence of his sight and his touch, he learns to identify it as a solid object. He learns to identify the object as a table. He learns that the table is made of wood. He learns that the wood consists of cells, that the cells consist of molecules, that the molecules consist of atoms. All through this process, the work of his mind consists of answers to a single question. What is it? His means to establish the truth of his answers is logic. Logic is the art of non-contradictory identification. An atom is itself, and so is the universe. To arrive at a contradiction is to confess an error in one's thinking. To maintain a contradiction is to abdicate one's mind and to evict oneself from the realm of reality. Truth is the recognition of reality. Reason, man's only means of knowledge, is his only standard of truth. 
Man's reason is his moral faculty. A process of reason is a process of constant choice in answer to the question, true or false. Right or wrong? Is a seed to be planted in soil in order to grow? Right or wrong? Is a man's wound to be disinfected in order to save his life? Right or wrong? Does the nature of atmospheric electricity permit it to be converted into kinetic power? Right or wrong? It is the answers to such questions that gave you everything you have. And the answers came from a man's mind. A mind of intransigent devotion to that which is right. A rational process is a moral process. You may make an error at any step of it with nothing to protect you but your own severity. Or you may try to cheat to fake the evidence and evade the effort of your quest. But if devotion to truth is the hallmark of morality, then there is no greater, nobler, more heroic form of devotion than the act of a man who assumes the responsibility of thinking. That which you call your soul or spirit is your consciousness. And that which you call free will is your mind's freedom to think or not. the choice that controls all the choices you make and determines your life and your character. The only will you have, your only freedom, Thinking is man's only basic virtue, from which all the others proceed. And his basic vice, the source of all his evils, is that nameless act, which all of you practice, but struggle never to admit. The act of blanking out, the refusal to think. Not blindness, but the refusal to see. <laughs> 